Even now, from time to time I install and replay my favorite games, and one of them is first stalker game, Shadow Cherno. Frankly, it amazes me that this game spawns such a cult following. Now, since I make videos, I thought it'd be neat to share some secrets, easter eggs and exploits that either I learned about or discovered on my own. Though I highly recommend playing through the game at least once before watching this, since the game is fucking amazing. Now, let's start things off from the beginning. In starting area, you can immediately get your hands on stalker suit or better, depending Depending on your difficulty level. In the video you can see where and what to do. I won't waste your time explaining it anyways then. Next little thing I like to share is the bridge crossing. The mission states that you need to get on the other side, but your path is blocked by army guys. Well, I personally like to KILL THEM ALL! But you have three other alternatives for this. First is to be a real pussy and pay them to let you through. Second is to go through that anomaly ridden tunnel, which I really hate. And third, move along that fence on your right till there is no more fencing and you can cross those train tracks. For this one though, you have to pack anti-red tablets or booze, you fucking drunks. Frankly, I love that devs chose to give us this option, because these days you really don't see these multiple solution options for one problem in games anymore. Well, okay, there is Fallout, but that's really really it. Now, upon arriving in garbage, you hear a group of stalkers asking you for help, whether you choose to help them or not. Next to their camp, you can find shit tons, and I mean shit tons of ammo for your wiper. For that, just shoot those crates up in the watchtower and watch ammo rain from the skies. Man, there are over thousand bullets in these crates, and frankly, that ammo lasts you for so long. And really, you can go around spraying and praying in its truest sense. Now, moving on, say, do you have too much 9mm ammo for your pistol? Well, in garbage there is full automatic weapon able to use it. It's basically a unique version of Viper. In video you can see where to find it. While weapon itself is nothing too special, it uses ammo that you really don't have too much use for anyways, and that's always nice. After completing some missions you'll arrive in bar area. But before you go too far, there is one super easy way to get outside the map, or at least outside the intended play area. Again, I refer to the video, but here I must note that if you get mission to clear out those dogs in here, sometimes bots themselves will jump the fence and roam free, so technically you won't be able to complete the mission unless you go after them. Anyhow, wanna see a dead body? Ah, who am I kidding, of course you do! But in the world filled with corpses left and right, this corpse has to be something special. In wild territory there is one that references to someone we all know very well, his name? Freeman. Beside him, you can find the best pistol in the game, the Big Ben. So yeah, two cool things in one place. Enjoy. When it comes time for you to go and find X-18 Lab, don't forget to kill Borov Guy. Remember that he will stay in his office, so take your time to prepare. And by that, I mean go find an RPG. It's located in the same building as X-18 entrance, only upstairs. In video you can see where exactly it is. Now, you have only one shot and it weighs a lot. So better use it and discard it. And so now you're ready to present Borrow with some hard-hitting reality. Ah oh man, there's no kill like an overkill. After you're done with Borrow and X-18 lab, head towards exit on the south. There you'll come across an old farm. In there, some stalker will offer you something unique for very cheap price. Now, did you read it? Yes, he offers you Gauss rifle location for only 800 potatoes. I mean rubles. This is something you definitely have to get. So give him that chump change and receive that info. <laughs> yeah, you just got scanned, player. Man, you're such a gullible prick, aren't you? <laughs> well, here's the thing. Obviously, you will kill them unless you're that kind of a pussy that pays army to cross the bridge thing too. Good news here is that one of these guys is carrying Noiseless Viper, which I personally keep as a trophy. Also, upon arriving back in Cordon and talking with Sidrovich, I think he has unique version of Thunder for sale, but I can't really recall that correctly, so, well... If he has, definitely get it. All well, no, there are more tips to be covered and I will definitely make another video on this. But remember, these tips, secrets and so on are things that I find the most noteworthy. Sure, there are smaller things that I didn't cover, but that's for another time, I suppose. As for now, good hunting, stalkers.